Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone today? I am so happy to be here joining you today. Let me know where you're checking in from and how is the weather there? I'm in Virginia and it is 41 degrees and cloudy. So it's not too bad. I heard there's a storm coming through the US, uh, going across the US. Let me know if you're in that path and if you've prepared. Hello, Janet from Georgia and Ariz Surprise, Arizona. Uh, we used to live out in Peoria, Tennessee, Arkansas, Georgia, Texas, Texas again, Kentucky. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to be here. Ontario and very cold. I could imagine it would be very cold up there in Canada. Michigan, Nevada, Tennessee, Virginia, brr, where Virginia, Beth? Uh, North Carolina, awesome. So I'm so grateful that you're taking the time out of your day to join me so as we stitch up some quick uh, ornaments. And we're going to wait as people get uh, going here, uh, as people come in and are able to, uh, sorry, I see some comments here. I'm having to delete. If uh, you are seeing links to click on to pay for this event, this event is free. This is not a paid event. So if you're seeing some uh, links that I am deleting here, for paid events. This is not a paid event. It is totally free. You do not need to go to an, another website. You do not need to enter your credit card information. So just so you are aware that uh, people are posting uh, spam links. Thank you, Simone. Um, I have deleted as many as I can see, but if you're seeing more, please report them and please delete them because this is not a paid event. Okay, so let's take care of a little bit of housekeeping as we get started. So as you see in the bottom of the screen there, scrolling across the bottom, it says enter the giveaway, hashtag creative. Every time I do a live, I have a giveaway. And actually, because I'm feeling very merry today, I'm going to give away two giveaways today. So you will have two opportunities to win. The first opportunity I will give away the um, entire set, the 16 designs that one, we will be sewing one today, but I will give away 16 of the set of 16. And then I will also be giving away a $20 credit to the website. Now, if you end up winning the set and you have already purchased the circle ward ornaments, then you can uh, have a credit to the website for that. So make sure you put in hashtag creative, no space, hashtag creative, and it's not creative applique, it's hashtag creative. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to let you know about today? So if you've been with me for a few months, you know that I host these events every second Tuesday of the month. And I have an events page on my website. And so let me hop over there really quickly to show you where you can find these. Um, let me see here. I need to share the screen. Okay, so let me share the screen. Share screen. Okay. Let me see. All right. So this is the website, Creative Applique's website. And up here, you can see a tab that says events. So right here, you would click on the events and it takes you to a calendar. And in the calendar I have here every month linked the event that is happening for that month. So you can click on that link and let's go to January since we're already in December. 
And we can go to January of 2023. It's not wanting to pull up. Okay, well, I will show you on today's. So December 13th, you click on that and you can see all of the details about the event that's happening today. It tells you what time, it shows you that it's free, Eastern time zone, all of the details. If you click on each of these, you will be taken to those actual designs where you can purchase them. It tells you all of the supplies you need, more supplies if you wish. And then you can RSVP on Facebook, YouTube. But the other thing you can do too is you can click here and add it to your calendar. So whatever calendar you're using, Google Calendar, iCalendar, or Outlook 365 or Live, you can add it to your calendar. So therefore, you can always have that uh on your schedule so i'm going to stop sharing the screen now and we uh can you hear me just make sure you can hear me hi nancy thanks for being here hello june from ohio let me make sure you can hear me okay so I'm going to keep going. I assume that you can hear me if, or someone would have said that they cannot hear me. All right, and I see, yes. Okay, thank you, Tina. Thank you, thank you, thank you let me, for letting me know. Okay, Julia, thank you so much. Hello, Skylar, thanks for calling. Anyway, so now let's go on to the next thing so those are the events that you can see on the website i also post a calendar on um my uh sorry more spam um they really take the fun out of these things don't they okay so uh so we talked about the event calendar and let's get into stitching and talking about the supplies that we're going to need for the design. So let me take you over to the mat here. Now, these are two samples that I made. These designs were just released a couple of weeks ago and they are they come in the sizes 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch and 4.5 inch to fit into the hoop, these uh, wooden hoops these wooden embroidery hoops, hand embroidery hoops like this. And they would fit in, the 2.5 inch one would fit in the three inch hoop. The one we're stitching today is 3.5 inch and that will fit in the four inch hoop. And then the 4.5 inch design will fit into the five inch hoop. So I wanted to show you two samples here. One I put into the embroidery hoop and then this other one I just did by itself without any hoop. So this is something you could definitely do. You will have to remember to add this uh, a hanger on it so that it is uh, able to be hung. So this one I actually just stitched out on the fabric and then I glued it to some of that foam, that craft foam that you could find at any of the, any of the stores, the craft stores or uh, Walmart, places like that, and then glued in the string here as well. So these can be adapted if you don't have the hoops or if you don't like that look. So when you put it in a hoop, one, it, there are two ways that you can do this, and uh, I will talk about that. So for this one, I stitched it directly on the stabilizer. I did not finish the back of the design. So what I did is I traced a circle with the outer hoop here. I traced a circle on paper bags from the grocery store, and then I cut out the circle and then I hot glued it on there. So that gives it a really nice finish. The other thing you could do too, is you could use some decorative scrapbook paper, which would be really pretty as well on the back. And so if you have a tree that turns and you don't want to see, you know, the the paper here you can use something that's you know even the glitter sheets that they have from the fabric stores or even um some felt would be awesome too 
So those are some options for covering up the back. But today we're going to do something a little different. Another option I wanted to show you. So let's talk about the supplies that we're going to need. And as I mentioned earlier, we have 16 different word designs. So there is, uh, let me go back to, let me go back to the website here and show you all of the different designs we have. So let me go into share my screen again. And let me show you here. So these are all the designs we have and it comes as a set. So be jolly, peace on earth, silent night, adore him, let it snow. Merry Christmas, tis the season, jingle all the way, ho, 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 joy to the world, peace, love, joy, oh, holy night, believe in the magic, Christ is born, jingle bells, and good cheer. These were all sewn on vinyl, so you can get a sheet of vinyl and stitch up all, several of these, combine several of these in uh, your largest size hoop, stitch up the first step is the placement circle, and then it you would lay down your vinyl, sew the words, put the back on, uh, on, on the back side of the hoop, the felt, the vinyl, whatever you're using on the back, and then stitch up the final step, which is the outer circle. So I just wanted to show you all the other designs that we do have there, okay? So now let's talk about the supplies. Let me know if you have any questions. I will keep checking into the chat. Thank you, Joanne, for helping to report the spam um, so that I can continue. I appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Miss Mar Miss Marine. She said they're so cute. Thank you for reporting the spam. I appreciate it. Uh, you can write the year you made it on the back too. That is a fabulous idea, Teresa. Welcome, glad to see you here that you were able to join us. Yes, writing the year on the back is a great idea. That's so cute, I love that. Um, let's see, Janice said she's also made the ornaments with felt and sew the back and forth, back and front together at the end after adding the hanger. Beautiful idea. I love all these ideas. So it's great to know that there's different options and ways to do this. And, you know, it's you can be as creative as you wish. So let's talk about the supplies that we're going to need. So I'm just using regular quilting cotton here. It's the sparkly one. I don't know if you can see the sparkles on it, but I like it because it gives that little extra sparkle and dimension to the fabric. So I cut out two pieces. If you were doing it like this, sewing it just with the fabric, you would use one piece and then you can, um, finish the back off like I did here, or with this one, I used one piece of fabric and then glued the back on the, the foam. Okay, so I have two pieces of fabric here. It's stated in the directions what size, uh, what piece of fabric or felt or vinyl that you will need for each size. So I don't wanna go into those specifics. A four inch embroidery hoop, if you want to use that for the back. So let me pop up some links here really quickly so that um, people know where they can get the designs and uh, also some of the supplies. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna put in some links here really quickly. That first link is for the word circle ornament designs. This second link is for designs that we released probably nine years ago when I first started. They are um, snowflake designs. They have the, um, let, uh, let me see, it's like this. So you can see there, it's all done in snowflakes and we have 10 different ones. Joy, peace, faith, love, savior, um, Jesus, light, hope, Santa, Noel, Mary, and Christ. Actually, I think it's 12 we have. But these are the same thing that you can do with these as well. And I got some sparkles, some hot fix crystals that I put on there that uh, make it even more 
blingy for the holidays. So that's that second link for the ornaments. And both of these design sets are on sale through next Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. So if you're wanting to get the sets, the design sets are on sale. These only come in a set. These uh, other ones, the snowflake ones come in individuals, but it's definitely a much better deal if you buy them all in one set. And then I'm going to put in here a link for Amazon. This is my not my store. I don't sell or sh I don't sell or ship these products. I have just linked them because they are items that I'm using in this demo and they are also items that I use and order and purchase on my own. So I want I know a lot of times people say, where can you get the hoops? And I found a link there for, I think there's 10 or 12 um, of the hoops that you can order. And it's maybe a dollar a hoop or even less. I don't, I can't, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't remember the price, but anyway, it's not my store, but I just wanted to share the links with you so that you have them. Okay. So what else are we going to need? So I'm using the quilting cotton today. Um, I am using my five by seven hoop just because I feel like it's easier for you all to see when I'm doing a design li uh, demo live. I feel like it's easier to see on the five by seven hoop. It, it, it's e just easier. This is a, a dime magnetic hoop and I pretty much use dime magnetic hoops for everything all the time every day um if i'm using any kind of hoop it's pretty much my dime magnetic hoop i occasionally use my regular hoops that came with the machine but these are so easy so fast so quick and uh they're super strong magnets and i i just love them i wish i had one in every size i don't but um if you are interested in them and want santa to bring you some, I think that you all deserve them because they are amazing hoops and they're particularly awesome if you like to do edge to edge quilting in the hoop. These are amazing for that. Okay, so um, a pen or a marker to be it if you're using, if you're backing it with paper, so a paper bag, a pen or marker, what, what have you, scissors, and a hot glue gun if you're going to attach the back like that. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in the chat here. Let me see if there's any questions. Remember to get in your hashtag creative. Hashtag creative will enter you into the two giveaways that we are having today. So let me see, scroll up and see if there's any other comments. Hello, Star, yes, she says she has several dime magnetic hoops. And she uses them all the time. She just loves them. So do I. They're amazing, amazing hoops. Amazing quality, super strong magnets. They're great for, um, these are for single needle flatbed machines. And they also, I think, have a few for the uh, tubular machines that uh, kind of look like a multi-needle, but are a single needle. So there's a brother and a baby lock. I think it's the brother persona and the baby lock alliance that are single needle machines, but they have the tub tubular arm. I think they have the uh, magnetic hoops for those, but not for multi-needle. So, excuse me. <clears throat> okay. So the thing about this is you can use, <clears throat> excuse me. You can use cutaway or tear away on these. It really is just your preference, what you have available and how, what you want to, to do. So that is definitely um, your preference if uh, what type of stabilizer you want to do. With this one, I used cutaway because I felt like it added a better stability for putting it in the hoop like this because, you know, it has that other side that it, that doesn't have the support. With this one, I used Tearaway because it really didn't need the extra stability and I had the foam on the back. And with the foam on the back, the foam gives it more structure and stability. 
Sharon says, uh, she's talking about her dime hoops and she says best investment if you don't want to have frustration with hooping with regular hoops. Exactly, I agree a thousand percent, Sharon. And the other thing that's amazing about them is if you have issues with your wrists or your hands or anything like that, you um, can definitely benefit from using these because you don't have anything to press down. I mean, you essentially just lift it up and flip it down. So I'm not seeing any questions. Mary, get it, put in hashtag creative, get rid of the appliques, no space, just hashtag creative because if you have appliques, it won't put you into the um giveaway and we have two today so i'm now going to flip over to the machine okay june says they also have for the 10 needle machine um i'm not sure about that so all right so here we are I'm going to put the hoop on the machine and we're going to stitch the first step the first step is going to be a placement line. And I'm using a 7511 needle. That's what I love. That's what I use all the time. It's pretty much like if I'm stitching anything, I'm using a 7511 needle and a dime magnetic, magnetic hoop. That's what I love. Okay, so I'm going to switch you back to the mat because there was something I forgot to mention before. And this is just a, a me thing, but so there's the placement circle. I'm going to put down my fabric. Now you can tape it. You could use uh, paper medical tape and tape it down or uh, you know kind of a plastic medical tape. You can use masking tape, painter's tape, all those things are great. But I have recently come across these, and I don't know if anybody of you, any of you know these, but they are called sew tights, and they are magnets made for hand embroidery, machine embroidery, quilting, paper piecing, absolutely amazing item, best item ever. So you want to make sure, though, that you keep it well out of the way of your needle, okay? So that is something that you need to be very very careful about and so with this stabilizer i i take the back so they're super strong magnets they're kind of hard to pull apart you don't want to ruin your nails by doing that so the easiest way to deal with them is simply sliding them apart like that and very easily they come apart and when you're using the dye magnetic hoops you want to be careful that you don't get them too close to the hoop or they're going to get stuck to the hoop so uh, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put them here, which looks like to be about the area that um, I need it for. And I can see underneath my hoop here where they are sitting. I can see them right there. Can you see that? And so now I'm gonna make sure the fabric is covering them. I'm gonna move it down just a little bit. And I put them on an angle. I don't need it to completely be covering it, uh, you know, all sides, but there we go. So now, all the magnets today, we're using all the magnets. Myrta says she has the sew tights. Do you love them? Jeanette says she loves them. She has several sizes. I love them too. I can't believe I hadn't known about them until recently. When I went to um, Sew and Quilt Expo in Fredericksburg at the end of September, I was introduced to them. And again, now I use pretty much my sew tights and my magnetic hoops all the time. All the magnets, all day long. Okay, so you can see that it's outside of the area of the stitching. Here's the stitching. I'm outside of the area of the stitching. Put this down smooth it so i know that this seemed like it took a little bit of time tape 
you would say you would think tape would be faster, but when you're not doing a demo and talking about all the descriptions and everything like that, it does go a lot faster. And when you get used to it, it goes really quickly. So a lot of people comment about, do you have to worry about them on the bed of your machine? The ones that I love are the originals. They have different strengths. They have, they have um, ones that are much stronger magnets, lighter magnets, and you have to figure out which, what kind of project you're doing. Since I'm using the light cotton fabric, these work great. The reason being is if the magnet is a little bit too strong on this, it will it could potentially get stuck to the throat plate of your machine and cause some issues with the uh, machine, uh, the hoop getting or the magnet getting stuck to the bed of the machine. But I have not had that happen. I use the originals all the time um, and haven't had that happen. I used it with some of the thicker vinyl today. I had used two pieces of vinyl. Let me show you here if you can see. So right behind me, I have my um, Be Merry uh, in the hoop. I did that with vinyl and that's coming out really soon within the next couple of days. But an in the hoop banner like that, and I did two layers of vinyl, vinyl on the front and vinyl on the back. And I used these so, so tight magnets. These are the originals that I use and they caused no problems whatsoever. Okay, so let's go to the machine and we are going to stitch the uh, tis and season. All right, so while we watch the machine stitch away here, do we have any questions? Let me see here. Miratis wants to know, would the dime sticky hoop work too? Yes, it probably would. Um, if you don't have an issue or a problem with sticky stabilizer, the, the thing about the sticky is it, it is going to stick to the back side of the fabric or whatever you're using. So if you have a good sticky stabilizer that you love, then you can uh, use that. All right. Uh, hope I answered your question, Miratis. Let me see something. Let me adjust the table just for a minute because it, there's a bit of movement on the camera. Okay, let me hold it for now. Um, let's see. There's another question here. Rosie wants to know, are they heavy and pull the hoop down against the machine bed? No, I do not um, have that issue. I have not uh, found that to be a problem at all. I have been using them regularly and I don't have them, you know, stick or drag or pull on the machine. The issue can be if you're using too strong of a magnet with too light of a, a fabric or a material. You see here that it's, it's moving completely fine. And over back here, this part of the metal is on the throat plate and it's not causing any kind of pull or shifting or movement of the magnet. All right, keep those questions coming in or comments. Let me know what you like to use for your uh, holding down your fabric or vinyl. I used to use the paper tape, but you know, over time that can get really expensive. And then sometimes I feel, I wonder, you know, if I end up running over it with the needle of the machine, if the glue is going to get into the machine and cause problems, that is a concern um, for me as well. So how is everybody doing with their Christmas stitching? Is everybody pretty, pretty uh, much finished and have they completed their stitching? I haven't even started, but I guess as my little countdown to Christmas sign says, I have 12 days left, so I guess I'm okay. 
Hashtag creative. Jeanette says she loves them and has several sizes. I think she's talking about the uh, so tights. Rosie uses tons of painter's tape. Yes, <laughs> painter's tape is great. But I did find sometimes it would not stick to some things like some vinyls I was using, it wouldn't stick too well on. Oh, I'm sorry about all this movement on this camera. I don't know why it's shaking so much. Rosie said she hasn't started either. Cindy said she's so behind. So am I. <laughs> Mir just uses a transparent mag, um, medical tape. Yep. I like that stuff too. Transpore. Yes. Not sure on the spelling. Yep. That's good. That's great as well. Maria hasn't started her stitching either. Beth uses masking tape. She's, it sticks to vinyl and fabric. Yep. I like masking tape as well. But after I found these sew tights, I just I just had to try them. You know, I just wanted to experiment and see see what uh, see what they were. Actually, let me um, give you a link here. I have a link, and I wanted to tell you about it. I forgot to um, mention it before, but I have a link for you, and I also have a discount for you. So. If you go to the So Tights website and purchase anything there, let me give you my, my link here. Purchase anything there and you use the code at checkout. Use the code creative appliques. You will receive a 15% off discount. That is huge because I, I don't know if these really ever go on sale, but I don't know. And I don't know if you will receive a discount on if you, if I, I don't know how often they have them on sale. I know when I went to the Quilt Fest in Houston and also the Sew Expo in Fredericksburg, they did have a show special but um, I'm not sure how often they have sales on the website. So I want to make sure that if you do go uh, to the website and want to purchase some, you use the code creative appliques because then you will receive a 15% discount. And I thought that was extremely generous of them to offer you all. So these are great stocking stuffers. They're awesome for uh, bag making for if you do sewing bags uh, you know just with your sewing machine like buy annie bags or other bags as well these are great for that they're great for they have one specifically for paper piecing so if you do paper piecing hand uh hand sewing paper piecing then these are great for that. They have ones for that. They have hand 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 sewing, hand embroidery sewing, machine sewing, and I they might have some for a long arm too, but I'm not definite about that. I, I did see a photo of them being used with a long arm, so. Yeah, Rosie, I, I know that some people have those badge magnets that look just like the ones that um, I'm using here. I cannot say I've compared them, so I don't know about the strength of the magnet on them. Uh, so that's that's one thing that I'm not I'm not sure about. I can't I haven't done that comparison, so yeah. Is it fill? I think it's fill surgical tape. Yes, surgical tape works great as well. Masking tape. Yep.
Yeah, so Rosie said that they're super strong. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. As I mentioned, I haven't tried them. And I, I do know the difference with these so tight magnets is that they have been tested and used with embroidery machines. They have run through all of the testing and, and uh, prototypes and everything to ensure that they work with the machines. So using a, a badge magnet like that, you know, that's been, it's used on uh, clothing, but it hasn't been tested with embroidery machines. So, all right, so there's that. We've got two more, two more to do and then the outline. So we have the stars to do. I'm going to skip ahead and then come back so that there are one less th time to change the thread. I don't know about you all, but I'm just not a big fan of constantly changing the thread. And last week I was stitching and my needle broke while the machine was stitching and now my threader won't work. So that's a huge bummer because I don't know if it threw off the alignment of the, the needle, um, the part the needle the screws into. If any of you have had that issue, let me know and let me know what fixed it. I really don't want to have to take my machine in to get serviced because <laughs> I've only had it since May and now it's not the time of year to be sending my machine in for service because it will probably be in there until the middle of January and I, I ain't got time for that. Um, my machine, Rosie, is a Brother Luminaire. Yes, Star, I am using my Luminaire. I am using Luminaire, and I'm still waiting for the upgrade. Any of you out there have the Luminaire, and you're waiting for the, X, uh, the XP3 upgrade? I'm still waiting since the middle of August. <sighs> Patience. Okay, I am now gonna change the thread and I'm gonna go back a step to do those other little stars. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other little stars that I skipped forward and then I will show you what I want to show you. And all of this I want to show you, but there's a little step there that I wanna show you as well. Attaching the back, a back piece of fabric. All right. Oh, I missed my needle threader. Okay, now on to these little stars and then we'll do the back and then the fabric. And then we will show you how to fix this. Yes, star, I agree, big tears, lots of tears. So Lynn, it's not the threader that's the issue, I don't think. I'm wondering if the entire like needle mechanism got pulled out of whack because I just feel like, I mean, that's the only thing that happened. It was stitching, the thread got caught and the needle broke. And I, of course, put a brand new needle in. Now I was having this issue a while ago, but that issue I found out was because I was using a different type, a different brand of, a different brand of, um, what do you call it? needle and I switched to uh, a, a, the brand that comes with the machine, the Oregon brand. And that it was threading perfectly fine until now. Okay, so this is not part of the, the step, but this is something I wanted to show you all um, as an idea, okay, as an idea. 
So it's just, you know, one more thing to add to your arsenal and your toolbox to see if you like it. And if you're wondering what these are, these are my hoop and press pads that um, Reen Wilcoxon from Embroidery Garden collaborated with uh, Designs and Machine Embroidery Dime to create. And they're absolutely amazing. They, these I use every day too. Now they say that you don't need to use them with the magnetic hoops. However, this part of the hoop still sticks out when you lay it down. So it's not completely flat. So I end up using them as well with my magnetic hoops just because it doesn't have it laying on the on the on the uh, cutting table and then causing issues with the stabilizer going out of um, alignment or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again, put them down here and so I can hold my back on. And so the reason, oh, why did you hear that? <laughs> It snapped on the front. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this a different way. We're going to put the back pieces of the magnets here with the fabric on, and then we're gonna quickly put down the magnetic the, the hoop on top of it. Okay, so now there's that. And I'm going to put this down and I'm going to look to make sure that they are out of the way. But this one over here, I'm wanting to go to the, to the hoop and I haven't had this issue before. All right. So I'm going to push them further in. And because it's a circle, they're not going to be in the way of the... design itself. All right, so, and this is one of the reasons why you wanna cut like a, a bigger piece of fabric as well, so that you can make sure these are out of the way, but pretty much this is the size fabric that I would cut anyway. All right, so there we go. We've got them on there. The backs are on there. Now, you can't see, move this one down a little bit. The circle that is already sewn on there, which was the placement line, that is the actual circle that we're going to be sewing as well right now. So that way it's a good barometer for being able to tell how far out of the way you are from that part. Okay, back to the machine for the last step. This is the circle that we're going to stitch and then we will get this out of the hoop cleaned up and <clears throat> ornamented. All right, last step. It is the circle. What is everyone making for Christmas? All of you who have not started yet and all of you who have already started and completed, what are you making? I've got some mug rugs to make. I'm making some stockings. I also have some other things that I can't say because I don't want my family to know what it is. Um, Let's see. All right, we are finished with stitching. And back to the mat. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that design went in a full circle around and you can see here the magnets are still in the same spots that they were. They didn't shift, they didn't move, they didn't get pulled, they didn't get stuck to the throw plate and throw it out of alignment. So that um, is really awesome. All right, let's see. I just wanna see if there's any questions. Uh, Lynn, I'm assuming you're talking about uh, my needle threader. Yes, so Marla asked, can you use these as coasters? You sure can use these as coasters. 
Um, I would probably put some, maybe sew them on cork. That would be really cute to sew, sew them on cork and be able to have them like that. And since it, you know, it's not a satin stitch around the edge, it is going to be really um, perfect for that. That would be a great idea. I love that idea. So please make sure guys, I don't know if you know I have a Facebook group, but if you do, uh, or if you are on Facebook and you do want to uh, join me over there and 20,000 other people, please come join me. We share projects, we uh, share photos. I do giveaways every month in there as well. And we have a lot of fun. So, I would love it if you would come join us over there, stitch up your projects, share your, your projects using Creative Applique's designs, and you would be entered into a giveaway for, <coughs> excuse me, every month we have a giveaway. So now, if you wanted to use this as a coaster, you would just cut it out as a circle. <coughs> excuse me. If, uh, you wanted to do as a standalone ornament um, like this one, I would not have put the fabric on the back. I would have used the um, the felt, or not the felt, felt, yeah, felt or foam like I did and then glue in I, the ribbon here. You could have also attached a ribbon to this one and put it on the underside of the stabilizer and then put the fabric there and then that way you would have had it together. If you're using quilting cotton and you're going to use this as a standalone ornament just like this without anything else, I would definitely treat the fabric with heat and bond light first. So now this is the fun part is trying to get this in the hoop centered. And let me see how good I can get with you all watching. So actually what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put it on here for less movement. So the bottom hoop does not move. Oh, nope. Okay, I've tried it this way too, but I can't see the top hoop. So if anybody has ideas or suggestions on how to make this easier for all of us, type it in the chat. Ah, that works pretty well that time. Yay. All right, Carol Ann, since she got the upgrade for machine, she got it within a couple of months of ordering. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Uh, sorry, not Carol. I'm sorry about that, Carol. Asman. Asman, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Okay, so now I just like to pull it. You can't iron it before you put it on here. I just don't do that because of the in the interest of time right now, I don't want to keep you all here longer than needed. And I know it's an extremely busy time of year. Okay, so now <clears throat> all I do is trim. Get, I actually, I don't like to use my fabric scissors on this because sometimes it does get a little bit, um, It do, I do get close to the wood and cut the wood and I don't want to cut the wood with my good scissors. So let me grab my craft scissors here and cut as close as I can. See, see the wood right there. So I don't like to use my craft, my uh, fabric scissors on these because of that fact. Now, if you're making a lot of these and you <clears throat> can use a template, essentially, uh, you know, cut one or put some scrap fabric in here, cut it to the circle that you need it to be, and then try to hoop it, but I, I feel like I just, I need to, I need to cut it off. I need to have it in the hoop and, and cut it. Cause then there's no room for error with the hooping. 
Okay, so I just cut that really quickly, and it's not the best. It's not the closest. I would cut it much closer. But this is a way that with you won't have to use glue any paper or anything on the back if you don't want to because it's it's finished, right? And as um, Teresa said earlier, you know, you could put the year on the back. Well, one of the things you could do is if you're using this, a second piece of fabric on the back like this, you can embroider this ahead of time with the year. And then when you put this on the back side of the hoop and you've got the year on there, then you have it all ready to go. So I think that's a, a, a wonderful idea, very creative and a great suggestion on that. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, get your hashtag creative in because in a few minutes I will be picking two winners to win a the word set and then the gift certificate or uh, credit to the website. Beth is um, saying that, oh, that is a great idea, Beth. Coasters and sachet pillows. I love that idea. Very lovely. That would be great. What do you put in your sachet pillows? Lavender, eucalyptus. Okay, so now I just have a piece of uh, ribbon here, eight inches, 12 inches, 10 inches, something like that. You, <clears throat> lots of different ways you can attach this on here to make it so that it stays. You can also loop it through the hole there and tie it. And then, you know, you can dress it up with a little ribbon like I did with this one. You can put some hot fix crystals on like I did with this one. There are so many options and ways to make these so cute and personalized and, and um, lovely for your theme. You know, if you have someone who is really into the farmhouse look, you could sew it all maybe in black um do it all monotone if you have i have a silver and gold tree that i like uh to only have silver and gold on so i did this one in silver and gold this is metallic thread from um designs and machine embroidery and they have king star me uh, metallic thread love that thread love it love it love it was just introduced to it a couple months ago and cannot stop sewing with it Super high quality, never have an issue with it breaking. Do not have to slow my machine down. I, I stitch it at the full speed ahead and don't have issues with it. Um, so Lynn says there's a tiny little piece of metal in the threader. If it's not lined up, it won't go in. Yeah, I, I know Lynn, but I don't know if that's what happened because it wasn't the threader that was the issue. It was the issue with the 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 needle breaking and pulling it. So I'll have to look into it. Um, okay, so any other questions, let me know. Also put in your hashtag creative uh, in the comments so that you can be entered into the giveaway. Um, she just used the, oh, uh, Marilyn. Oh, fantastic. I just used your discount code for so tight magnets. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you for, for uh, going there and supporting a small business um, and giving them, you know, a shout out. Uh, I really love their, their magnets that um, for the embroidery. And make sure if you do go over there, uh, even if you go over there without using my link, if you go to sewtights.com, you go over there and you don't use my link. If you still use creative appliques when you check out in the coupon code, you will still receive the 15% off discount. So um, Pamela's making mug rugs and snap trays, bowl cozies, more stockings and pillows. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Applicating seven pairs of pajamas for the grandkids, freestanding lace ornaments. Um, wow, you all are busy. 
busy, busy, busy quilt for her best friend. Wow. That's awesome. Cindy. That's amazing. Um, thank you, Teresa. I'm glad you were able to join us today. I'm glad all of you were able to join us today. Carol wants to know what brand of stabilizer I'm using for the tearaway. I use Pelon. I love the Pelon. It's called Pelon stitch and tear. I'm not exactly sure what the number is, but you can find it at Joanne. You can find it on Amazon, pretty much any of the, you know, retailers that sell stabilizer will have the Pelon. It's great. Um, and for in the hood projects specifically, it tears away really clean and really smooth, very nice um, quality to it. It doesn't have all those fibers and, and strings that sometimes can be used. You can also use wash away in this if you want for, uh, to be cleaner even, but I just feel like I like to have the little extra stability of the stabilizer in there. Star says, very cute with the wooden hoop. Thank you. Naz, Rosie said, that is very, very cute. Thank you so much. All right. Um, let's see. Last minute. So tights are great. Jamie says, so tights are great. Yes, I love them too. Love them too. Melanie says, love all your ideas. Mug, mug rugs are always the great gift. They are. We have some on the website and I have a few um, Christmas ones releasing in the next few days. Cindy says she loves Kingstar. I do as well. I do as well. I also wanted to mention if you're on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell to be notified when I upload new content so that you're notified. It's a great way to be able to uh, know when I go live. And if you don't happen to see it on Facebook, because you know how everything's always changing on Facebook, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will always know when I have something new coming. Okay. Uh, Lily says, love it. Thank you so much for sharing this fun project. Thank you, Lily, for being here. Thank you for joining me today. Um, Simone says, I missed it. If you talked about the this hoop, can you please let me know about it? It is a magnetic hoop from Dime Designs in Machine Embroidery. It is amazing. I love them. I use them all the time. I want all the sizes <laughs> because they are absolutely amazing. They're really incredible if you have things that you can't hoop very well that to prevent hoop burn, like what do you, um, yeah, what, what are they called? Sorry, towels. Uh, anything with loft or pile or nap that you don't want to hoop and get that burn on it. Even sweatshirts sometimes and um, towels and, you know, all the things that you don't want to be stitching and, and have the hoop burn and have that circle around the um, design. Um... Veronica says she's just got the sew tights and she's also using the link. Thank you. She's been wanting some. These are awesome stocking stuffers. You will love them, love them, love them. Um, and Sandra, Sandy said, love all the designs and think this will be a quick and easy gift once I have all the supplies handy. Yes, Sandy, they are amazing. And you can scroll up and click the links to Amazon so that you can find out where to get the hoops that I used. Uh, this one, I used the four inch hoop because I did the 3.5 inch design. All right, Rosie said, very informative. Thank you. Need a bigger machine. I can help you out with that. No, I'm just kidding. I can't. <laughs> all right. so. If you are ready, we will get going. Ooh, my Mac says it's about to die. I have it plugged in. Hang on. I don't want to lose you all. All right. There we go. That would not be good. Let us go to the giveaway. And as I mentioned, we are doing two giveaways today. And we are going to... Shit, and we're going to draw. So here we go. Drum roll, please. This first person will win the entire 16 word ornament set that comes in three different sizes, all 16. Nancy Blank. Yay! Congratulations, Nancy. If you've purchased the designs already, let me know and I will add a credit to the website for you. 
uh, please contact me through the website and I'm going to draw again. This one will, this winner will receive $20 credit to the Creative Applicators website. Julie Lawson, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, guys, well, I think that's it for today. I wanna to thank you so much for taking the time to be with me and join me. I know your time is valuable, so I greatly appreciate you being here with me. Make sure you mark down, I don't think I mentioned, uh, Tuesday, January 10th, that's the second Tuesday in January at 11 a.m. Uh, meet me here again on YouTube or on my Facebook channel. I will be posting an event so you can click on that and be reminded. But if you subscribe to YouTube and click the bell, you will definitely be notified. I wish you all a very happy holiday season. I hope you all can relax and enjoy time. And, and uh, also a very happy new year. And one person asked for the link to the designs. I will post it again there. So thank you all so much for being here. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me for today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy holidays and happy new year. See you soon.